Today, I'd like to share with you a book that is very reminiscent of The Handmaid's Tale uh, in terms of dystopian, a dystopian setting and a restriction of rights by the government, but one that's set in modern day in Boston and New York City and is more of a coming of age tale um, between a son and an estranged mother. It also deals with xenophobia and censorship and eventually the government does start to exile and uh, make certain people that are standing off against the government disappear. And it's called Our Missing Hearts by Slast NG. It is a fiction book, but it's so eerie and also reminiscent of what we're going through in society today. Like there's people disappearing, That there's people that are um, being separated at the border and there's rampant racism and um, people who are of a non-white background that are being treated as second-class citizens. And then if you think about in other countries where authoritarian governments are um, jailing or making activists, whistleblowers mysteriously disappear, it makes you wonder if this fiction book really is fiction. So ideally I would give this book talk to students of the politics club or politics classes at our local university, Western Colorado University. I'm an alumna, alumnus there, but I hope to tap into some of these connections that I have with my professors still to come speak to their classes and encourage them to visit us at the public library because while they have a rich academic library, um, that's more so to focus on their school studies and not necessarily read uh, for fun or for pleasure. And that's where we come in at the public library to provide them a wider variety of reading materials and um, encourage them to come to programs too and make community connections that um, integrate them into our town beyond campus. Um, so I hope that our missing hearts and uh, a little talk about a book that is uh, could be interesting for those who are politically minded would suit their taste and they'd be intrigued enough to come check it out. So thanks.